Right, Shalom. We like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Kapadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that grew well and that taught us his truth, among many other things. Salutations to the Sisei Achim out there, you know, that are pushing his truth and that believe in the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. And to the few Sisei sisters out there, Shalom. Yeah, man, we are uh, on the way to camp, you know. So. What we just straight want to jump into is, um, you know, there have been riots, man. I was like, let me just jump in it because we were talking about certain things that were popping off. And Esau is getting sloppy as hell, man. And the funny thing is, there's a lot of stuff, you know, that uh, these people over here, ain't, they ain't taking it no more, man. This is uh, what you're seeing here, you know, is uh, from last night, you know, in the, the city called uh, Rotterdam. And you see, you know, fireworks, you see the police car there in the midst. You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, bugging out, man. Oh, my God. You see? Oh, you. <laughs> and I'm going to go to a few of them, uh, of these clips. I hear you, you're going to go to your head. You're going to go to your head. You know, police shooting with, uh, you know, sharp. You know, they ain't shooting with, with no blanks, man. And here in this clip, they say the one guy got his uh, lung punctured by a police bullet, man. So they ain't shooting to, uh, you know, with, with rubber bullets. They shooting with, uh, with, with, you know, with, with uh, full ammo, man. And uh, people were crying here. You want to say something? Yeah, live ammo. Yeah, live ammo, yeah, man. Yeah, man, what? <laughs> Sometimes in the English. Yeah, no. But uh, yeah, man, so these people were like, yeah, you know, I'm spinning, you know, on my, on my legs, and you know, these guys, you know, Mark was incorrect, <laughs> name his name, is one of the people, one of the two that got shot, one of them uh, got shot and killed, and another guy, you know, you see that people, people are playing around, man. Everybody was coming for fighting. You know, the spirit of submission is, is heavy. In the in the city, man. You know. Because at a certain point, the police was running away from the people that were protesting. Man. They were running after the police. Yeah, man. Running away. Man. So that's that's the spirit of sedition. And here they say that the you know guy got popped. Yeah. He's Yusuf, you know. He's Yusuf, man. Yusuf. You don't really see it here, but you know they're checking it out and this is the other thing. But yeah, man, let's look here. Just showing some footage of people rounding up. You saw the whole cancer shit, you know, they, they, they're bugging out, man. You look, look at the police cars, man. <laughs> so you see, this is uh, from last night. Someone lost his finger. And there's the other thing. Oh, that's the other thing again. Yeah, man. So, yeah, let me jump into a few scriptures, man. Because this is what you get, man. If the people... Let me just start with uh, going into 2nd Ezra 15. Because, yeah, it's spirit, man. It's still... <laughs> I didn't even open it like this, man. 2nd Ezra 15, verse uh, 15. Let me put this away. Um, Let me... Started 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. And woe is this, is, uh, you know, a sorrow, you know, a cry of lamentation. You know, it's a lot of uh, horrible times coming to this world. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands, and the modern day sword, you know. Is not only uh, you know when you think about Esau, the blessing is his sword. Esau, his blessing is also that uh, that army that he has, man, and his police force, the guns, you name it. And people are taking up arms, you know, to um, you know fight. And this is uh, something that is cooking up, man, because people are sick and tired of what's going on, you know. And you already see that they're out there on the street fighting the police and this is what the scripture says about, says about that man for there shall be sedition among men you know and sedition is uh, uprising uh, towards the uh, uh, to the government man you know against the government so for there shall be sedition among men 
and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. So they ain't giving no rats behind about who's the leader and, uh, you know, and their authority, you know. They're all about, you know, what's best for us because they see that Esau is messing them up, man. You know, all these uh, uh, politicians, they're coming with rules that make no damn sense. So this is uh, concerning the the, the two, uh, what was it? Uh, the, the 2G rule, you know. You either uh, recover it, or you you're, uh, you 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 took that uh, that uh, the death shot, man. Because a lot of people also in the sport are just uh, collapsing, man. And these people know uh, doctors coming out like, hey, this is something that you shouldn't be taking. You know, a lot of people with so-called diplomas, you know, who are in this world highly esteemed, they say like, hey, this is something that you should avoid, man. And now a guy that uh, <coughs> is from the uh, the WHO or the no Salah uh, uh, the OMT that's the 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 people that are advising the government what to do and they are saying like the government is just making shit up you know they taking they taking certain things and they running with it or they just totally come with uh, come up with certain things that goes against our advice and uh, one doctor. You know he's uh, leaving this uh, this organization because he sees that this place, you know, the, the things that they are uh, putting out there are, you know, not 100% solid, man. And it goes against their advice. So Satan is divided against Satan, man. You know, even on the low level, these devils are divided, man. So, um, and the cords of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So, you know, that martial law will pop off, man. As you saw, uh, you have seen the, the footage. You know, it is, it's crazy how people are there, uh, you know, battling each other. But one thing also, don't forget, Esau is, is a man that is, uh, he's, he lives by order of K.O., man. So he... He loves chaos because Esau says never let a good crisis go to waste. So if there's something going on, he will make sure that he will benefit uh, of it, man. He will benefit from the situation so he can imply these uh, wicked uh, decrees so he can put the people on lock. You know, so um, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses for, with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So this is going into also, uh, uh, you know, the common famine, man. And there's something that a lot of people are worrying about because at your job, you hear like, hey, uh, I don't know what to do. You know, what if this goes on? You know, my children and job, are they, they going to imply this uh, QR code, you know, that rule at the job? Or what are we going to do? I say, hey, I told, told the Jake at my job, this, this is where faith kicks in, man. Because without Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you ain't going to win, man. You can't go out there thinking you can take up arms against a man whose blessing is a sword, man. You're going to lose, man. Without the Heavenly Father, you know, you should... You, you, hey, man, you need to trust Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, because these people, their blessing, again, is the sword, man. Let me go to uh, Psalm 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh, than to put confidence in princes. So this is uh, something that warns you about. Do not put trust in any other but Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai. Because let's say you trust in princes, these leaders. Look at what they're doing to this whole system, man. You know, they are against you. They are against uh, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai. Because if not, they would imply the law. You know, like with sodomy, you put the sodomite to death. Thus said the Bible, you know, uh, you, you would have the land Shabbat. You would have things in order, women in order. Everything would be in order if they, you know, would have implied the laws. It would be better. You want to say something about it? No. Okay. So, um, let me see. <clears throat> let me go to Psalm 108, verse, let me see. Verse, let me see, verse uh, 12, give us help from trouble for vain 
is the help of man. Through Yahweh, through uh, uh, Yahweh Basham Yoshai, we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. So you, you, you can come up with all types of plans to go against this and to, to go out in the spirit of, uh, you know, sedition and, you know, uh, ransack the place and uh, destroy everything that you need to uh, buy, that where you need to buy your groceries. It doesn't make no damn sense, man. You know, you need to wait upon the Lord until he rises up to the prayer, man. We need to sit this out and let the prophecies unfold, man. And as long as we uh, as we go along, you know, we need to uh, not to go along, get along, you know, but that's all other topic, you know. But we need to stay put and have patience and let the prophecies, uh, you know, uh, play out, man. And have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And let me go to uh, Proverbs. Let me wrap this up. 29 verse 2 when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn and this is a prime example of people that are not uh, happy man they're unhappy because there's a wicked ruler you know uh, over the people which uh, is smiting the people with all types of unrighteous decrees man you know but at the end of the day this devil you know, he is now running and pushing all these uh, laws through because in Austria now, you know, everyone is um, is obligated to get the jab. Those type of things are making people uh, very vexed and go out on the street because in Austria they were already, uh, also, you know, uh, in uh, the spirit of sedition going out and pro uh, protesting against the government, man. But... Um, Got the precept concerning okay. what you say, concerning yeah. that we shouldn't be uh, protesting and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> this is the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, said Jehovah by Shamiel Shai. Yeah, man. So, avenge not yourselves, man, but rather give place unto wrath. You know, keep it together, man. Don't make haste in time of trouble. Don't uh, do anything uh, irrational. Stay thinking, stay in the spirit, man. You know? For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. Yeah, man. Because why? The most I set up these uh, these devils, man. So you're going against them by fighting. You're going against Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, because here, if you uh, go to uh, Romans 13 and 1, um, let every soul, oh, you can read it. If you, uh, yeah, let me, <clears throat> Romans 13, verse 1. Because, you know, these devils, they are set up here. Uh, here. You know, it is also a, a part of the, the, the punishment that we need to, uh, you know, endure, man. And this devil will be taken out of power for everything that he has done against Yahweh Basham Yahushai and his people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, man. But yeah, read. It's the book of Romans, chapter 13 and 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Yahweh, the powers that be are ordained of Yahweh. Yeah, man, so the powers that be are ordained of the Heavenly Father, man. So everything that you see now, the people that are uh, uh, in power, these devils, Esau, you know, Daniel 4 17, Esau, the basis of men, is put up in this uh, seat of rulership by the Heavenly Father, man. You know, the Roman Empire revived again. They are the ones that are going to rule until Yahweh Shai returns, man. That's just how it is, man. And if you go to the word ordained, it is uh, tasso in the Greek, and it goes into put in order, to station, to place in certain order, to arrange, to assign a place. The Most High, and here it goes into to appoint. So the Most High appointed this man, this devil, to be, you know, the so-called white man, to be uh, at the top right now, you know, until he be taken out of the way, man. So there's no, this is no, uh, uh, you know, the rules might be messed up. But you need to have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, if, if you think, hey, man, the, the, you know, these devils might come up with rules, uh, you know, uh, I can't go to this and that, and, you know, can't go to the gym, can't go to the restaurant. Th that's not important, man. And even when when it comes to the point that, hey, uh, these devils are going to mandate you to get the jab or get the QR code or whatever, you know, so you need to be uh, recovering from uh, C19 or you need to get the jab to be able to get the QR the most I will take care of us, man. You know? Can you get the Proverbs uh, uh, 10, verse 3? Okay. 
<clears throat> and then we wrap it up, man. I also wanted to, you, you can also read uh, Psalm 33 for yourself, 33 verse 18 till uh, verse uh, 22, man, till the end, man. And then you will know that the Most High will have your back as long as you have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Because all these things that are coming, it's going to be worse, man. It's going to get far more worse. You know, like the brother also said before we started this video, we should prepare ourselves to be pilgrims, you know, in this earth, man. To leave, because if Esau is blocking us out of the system by, you know, mandating this, these laws whereby we must take this jab and later the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, you know, the ones that have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahushai will not take this damn jab and will not take the damn MOTB, man. So that will, and if you don't have it, you can't buy or sell. So what does that add up to? You losing everything, man. But hey, a hundredfold, man, for everything that you've lost, man. So that's why we need to, hey, this devil is falling. Even though you might, let's say uh, someone is, is stupid enough, you know, uh, to, to take these things, the jab and the MOTB. You're going to lose anyway because the devil is going down, you know? And then you throw everything away. You know, have integrity, have faith, man. Ask for more faith, man. Like the elder brother in LA says, big faith, man, <laughs> you know? Ask for faith, man, for strength to endure these hard times, man, that are coming uh, uh, towards us. Well, yeah, man, can you read the last uh, scripture? It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 24. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him. Salachia, uh, uh, 10, verse uh, 3, man. Oh, God. <clears throat> it's the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 3. Yahweh will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he chast chases away... Cast it. Oh, he's lucky. But he casts away the substance of the wicked. Yeah, man, so you see that the Most High will not suffer the righteous to famish, you know? And to famish is that you will uh, perish from, uh, let me go to the word. Salah, so I'm messing this up. He will always have your back and have your stomach filled up, man. You know? Can you uh, get, go to one more scripture and second Exodus 2 verse uh, 27? Then we wrap it up. Uh, and I get to this word. Um... Uh, famish it goes to be hungry be for uh, ferocious to be hungry to allow one to be hungry allow hunger so the most i won't allow us to be hungry man and it goes into to famish to uh you know suffer you know suffer hunger <coughs> man and those that are uh you know if you perish by hunger man that is worse than dying by the sword man is the book of light and lamentation states but yeah man can you go to the second is this, uh two <clears throat> this is uh, the book of Second Exodus, chapter two, verse twenty-seven. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Yeah, I man, we shall have abundance, man. We shall be happy. Merry is you being happy, man. You know, come, okay. verse twenty-eight. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said Jehovah. Verse twenty-nine. Then we. God, my hand shall cover thee. So that thy children shall not see hell. Yeah, man. So you see, the heathen shall envy thee, but shall they, they ain't gonna be able to do not a damn thing against us, man. Because the Most High will cover us, man. He will have uh, his hedge around us, man. You know, angels uh, uh, protecting us. You know, those who fear the Lord. You know, angels can pass at those who fear the Lord, right? You know, we we will be protected, man. So you know, have that faith. Because we need to go through these uh, straight and vain things, man. Like the book of uh, Second Ezra 7 says, man. Israel needs to go through these hard things. For if we don't, you can never inherit those things that are laid up for us, man. The kingdom will come through suffering, man. You will be tested, man. You will, your faith will be tried, man. You know, shall, when you, how shall I uh, return? Shall he, uh, shall he find faith? You know, in those times... Though, then shall be known who are my chosen, man, when these devils are coming down like mad men, you know, sparing none. But the most I will have the elect his uh, their back, man. So with that, you know, we like to give all praise to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom to the sincere Achim out there and to the few sincere sisters. Shalom.